Hello, good people. How you doing? I know you've not heard from me for a while. Just work, logistics, life. But uh, I'm just happy to be back with you to share some more information about running a sustainable organization and actually looking forward to the future. So I'm very excited about some of these videos that I'm going to be giving you, which is pretty much looking at an overall view on your organization. So today I am going to be talking about strategic planning, how your organization fits into your already established strategic plan or you're about to put together one. This video will help you try to see how you can either revamp your strategic plan or implement your strategic plan so that you can fulfill the overall vision and mission of your organization. We'll be talking in a few seconds. If you have a one or five year strategic plan that's already been done, it's now time to look at your strategic plan, whether it's you're in year two or year three. So you have to just distill that information out, know a few things. What are your objectives? What are the indicators that you're meeting those objectives? What are your plans? Another thing you can look at is to review your SWOT and PEST or PESTLE analysis to see if it still fits with what you all discussed as you were putting together your strategic plan, or if you're thinking about putting a, together a strategic plan, how you're gonna get that together. So, what are your objectives? The what is, you have a vision. If your vision is to increase the economic vitality of more women in Nigeria, okay, if that's your vision, what is your objective? The objective for the year 2020 could be to empower 1,000 female entrepreneurs, okay? So if that is your objective, then how are you going to distill it down into your indicators? So your indicator may be to do some kind of sensitization campaign to get more women to actually understand what you are doing as an organization. You may have to go to some skill acquisition um, centers and build partnerships with them and actually write proposals to donors to be able to teach financial education to more women. So what indicator would you be looking at? So the indicator may be to reach out to 5,000 women a month and register 300 women for our skill acquisition program. So that is an indicator, okay, to meet your objective. So what's your plan? How are you going to reach the 5,000 women a month? What kind of activity will you be doing? Will you be holding an event? Will you be on TV, radio, print? How is that going to work? Okay, so these are things you need to look at in your strategic plan. In addition to that, there needs to be critical assumptions to whether or not you're going to be able to meet that objective, which will be the result of your SWOT analysis. Your SWOT analysis is the strengths of your organization, the weaknesses, the opportunities, and threats. Okay, so if the strength of your organization is that you have relationships with a database of um, skill acquisition centers around the country. Your weakness may be that you don't have the civil society reach to be able to get the women that you need, or you don't have the relationships with government that you need to be able to reach the number of women. The opportunities could be the fact that gender inclusion and gender mainstreaming is a hot topic in global philanthropy, okay? So it's an opportunity that you can key into. A threat could be that there, there may be issues such as logistics, power outages, and um, people receiving the messaging that you have to give them. So that's a brief SWOT analysis, okay? So you can also do a PEST anal analysis if you've not done that in your initial five-year strategic plan, which is political, economic, social, legal and environment, okay? 
The political environment right now in Nigeria, we have an idea of what's going on. They want to do the social media bill. They want to um, deal with hate speech. There are, some, uh, um, there are some human rights violations or some human rights issues going on in the political arena, so it may affect the kind of messaging that you provide. Then economic, inflation is going on every day. 20,000 Naira in 2014 is different from 20,000 Naira in 2020, okay? Social, how are people receiving gender mainstreaming in Nigeria in terms of women becoming empowered to be able to take care of their families? Are there any legal ramifications for what you do? Okay, how would the legal system back you up if there is any gender related violence or gender related issues? Okay, and then the environment are you going to be working on environmental issues with regards to your organization and with regards to meeting your objectives? And how can you tie that into gender mainstreaming? Strategic planning it's a very detailed document, but it's very vital. I didn't even talk about administrative. How many staff will you need to make this happen? Do you have your policies in place? Okay, governance policies, financial policies, personnel policies, procurement policies. Do you have these in place? And if you do, how updated are they? Okay, so that is just a small sense of information with regards to what your strategic plan is. You have to understand what your vision is, your mission, what is your objective, okay? And what plan do you need to, to, to implement to make your objective happen? And what are the activities that you will need to do to make those happen? So if you have any um, questions or comments about working on a strategic plan, you can always reach me at www.socialimpactng.com or you can email me on the email mentioned below and follow me on my social media at Social Impact Consult. I look forward to hearing from you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.